Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to the module 2 of Nest JS Advanced uh, course. And in this video, we are going to talk about uh, Docker, Docker containers, Docker build, Docker pull, Docker run, all the di different Docker commands, and how we can spin up the Nest JS app inside a Docker container. We are already using Postgres container for our database purpose in last couple of videos. Now we will try to understand the Docker concept. This is a simple Docker architecture which talks about the docker host which is your uh, system your which your laptop acting as a docker host and you already have a docker running so the docker daemon process is running on your host and once you do docker compose up you should be able to spin up multiple containers node.js postgres redis RevitMQ containers on your host machine and so for the nest.js application because we are already using some base image of node.js that is empty Ubuntu image on top of that they just have a node.js installed now you will copy your source code onto your docker container which will become your live node.js app running there and for other containers like postgres rabbit mq and all you are pulling the image from the docker hub registry and you are just starting those uh, images but for nest.js application first we need to write a docker file we will build it create the image and then we will run the image to create the container so let's take a look in the detail we will just dive into the code and we will understand how we are writing docker file docker compose file how we are creating containers and how these containers talks to each other inside a docker network docker file understanding the docker file like how it really works what is the role of docker file and then docker compose basic docker commands like uh, creating a building a container creating container and writing a simple docker file creating a container from uh, a docker file or creating container from the existing image so what we are going to do is simple let's say we have a nest.js application which depends on the postgres that is already running as a container because once you start using uh, once you start using the containers, you won't be installing Postgres, MongoDB, MySQL on the host machine. You will be using the containers. And here, I what I want is I want my Nest.js container. Right? Both will be running on the host machine. So this is your laptop. Right? On this, you have a Docker. Let's say I can show you my docker. Here is my docker dashboard and you can see all the containers, right? Which are running. So what these docker containers will do? Docker containers are like a tiny Linux systems. They require volume, they require port so that the host machine can access them, right? So because let's say you are running a front end or back end app you will be writing putting the in the browser about the local host 3000 or you you will be accessing your apis from the the host machine so host machine to the container machine you will be doing a port binding so there are two things we generally takes care one is a port binding another is a volume mapping so this is the host machine here we do is port mapping and then volume mapping because what happens is let's say you are using this uh, postgres container and you have like multiple tables and that has a data and you just docker did the docker compose down or remove the container but you still want to persist the data of this po uh, postgres container onto your host machine so for that you can just do the volume mapping port mapping is to expose the things from uh, uh, from container to the outside and volume mapping means you wanted to save things to the host machine so when you do docker compose up you can see the same exact same tables right so there is a host port and container port mapping same for the postgres and because postgres requires the data also so you will be doing a volume mapping otherwise if you don't do it then you will just do docker compose down your data is gone your tables are gone you need to bootstrap again so to become a ninja developer or a good developer you will be using everywhere the docker compose file docker containers docker files because i have shown you in all my full stack clone applications we have this docker setup 
I was spinning up the Postgres using Docker container, using Docker Compose file. But for Node.js or Nest.js application, I was just running npm run start on the host machine. So this was my host machine. And I was simply doing is npm run start prod or start dev. And that is was starting my Node.js instance. So that depends how you want it to be. For this, you will be installing the node modules and then npm run build, npm run start. But for container, you will be writing the, the start instructions inside your uh, Docker compose file that how your application is going to be started. Okay, until unless your application is live, the Docker container is up and running. Okay, so let's see this in a simple demo. Uh, I'm not giving a whole knowledge of the Docker because that's already there. And obviously we cannot cover that in one video. I will just add a playlist reference for you guys to learn, but you must have a good knowledge of the Docker, how to write Docker compose file, how to write a simple Docker container, Docker file for the Node.js app, for uh, the, the front end React app. But what you, because what you are doing is you are putting your code onto Docker container. Let's say this is your Nest.js app. So what indirectly I'm doing is I'm writing Docker file that has an instructions that will put my code which is there on my host machine to the container and then inside the container it will run npm install npm run build and then execute the start command so that my tiny nest.js application can be started uh, on to the container and it will be running on some port container port and here is my host port on host port i will be doing mapping so 3001 is the host port that will be mapped to the container port this that thing we do almost every place right so how are we doing how are we doing it so let's say a simple example is we already have this docker compose yml if you have seen my examples that i'm using for postgres right so it has this postgres container these are the environment variables the volume mapping and the port mapping and why we need port mapping because i wanted to access this uh, node.js application I, I want to access this database outside the container so that currently uh, i mean if you see these uh, 5432 port on the host is free then only you will be able to connect otherwise you can just go give any random 39 so while connecting to this port in the container you will be using 5439 from the host machine right so this is the port mapping volume mapping to persist the data on the host machine and here let's say i will just talk about simple example about docker file how we write a simple docker file it's not the optimized docker file here if you look into the instructions so what all these line by line talks about here we are creating a docker image from this docker file which we can build and create a container because for postgres we are getting the image from the docker hub it's already a uh, somebody built the container image for the Postgres. We are just pulling it from the Docker Hub and doing a run build or putting this uh, image name in the Docker Compose. It will just pull this Docker image from the Docker Hub and build it and create a Postgres container for us. So if we look at this Docker file, what all it contains? So, I mean, what we are doing is we are looking for Node 18 version. So what it is, it is also a Docker image which we are pulling from the Docker Hub and then we are going to put our source code on your container and then doing npm run build, npm run start and all these commands, right? So we are creating this Docker file, getting the base image from the Docker Hub and running our own commands. So it will create a, some layers based on these commands. So here we are writing these uh, commands. So here you can see this, this uh, Docker image currently is a simple plain node.js container node.js container if you just do docker compose docker build this particular image it will create a node container it doesn't have our nest.js application and none of the dependencies so what we are going to do is we are putting this working directory this is the active directory onto this uh, container and then we'll start copying by running this dot dot what we are doing we copy all our files from application to user source app directory of docker image then we execute npm run install to install all the javascript dependencies we will also copy the package log json and all so that our dependencies are consistent on docker container and on the host 
So once our press process is ready, what we do is we just do npm run build and start the, the nest.js application. So here we are using um, different commands like run and cmd. And we are using this particular user node. We are not using the root user because this container is like a tiny Ubuntu system. So here we are using cmd and run command. The cmd instructions does not run while building this command because this we want to run when we are starting the container and when we do docker com docker build then this command will not execute only the run commands will execute so it will create the container and then when you do uh, really create the container when you spin up the container through the docker compose then only this cmd commands run so cmd command and run commands are different run commands executes on the build this executes while creating the container so from docker image we create a docker uh, docker build right and then from docker build we create the we build the image from the docker file and then we from the uh, image we create the container we can also have a docker ignore file is it there otherwise we need to add docker ignore file to ignore the files being placed on the container docker ignore some of the files and then how we build it we can also simply build the image like if i'm inside this directory cd okay and here i can just simply do is a docker build so you can also put a tag and let's say nestjs apis so what it is going to build it is going to build the docker file which is there in the current working directory right it will create this build name container build with the nestjs api that container then so from docker file you are creating a docker build and then you can run and create the container here in most of the application i'm using docker compose because i need to spin up multiple containers like node.js postgres mongodb redis and all so to combine all these things we can use these containers so these are the two containers node here i'm also doing the port mapping okay if uh, this is how i will access it on the host machine host machine will have a 3010 is a port which will which is mapped to the container port 3000 this is the postgres so i will do is a docker compose up and you can see build dot that means from the current working directory you will also get the uh, docker file which will help you to which will be built for creating this container so this container because here you see image is postgres because this is this container will be created from the already existing image which we are going to put from docker hub but here we have a docker file we don't have the current image right node.js image we have a docker file that we, that will be built to create the container so if i do docker compose up what it will do is it will just pull this container image no node 18 alpine then it will run all these instructions like copying then npm install then npm run build and npm run then once you start then there is a command npm run start prod this command will be used to create the container so because once the build is ready you have a dist folder then you just execute start prod command and start prod what it is doing node dist main.js it is just creating your simple container right similarly there is a postgres postgres uh, if you see docker compose yml postgres is a container which is using postgres image so that is already there and it is doing this port mapping and volume mapping which we will be able to see the the postgres container running with uh, these configurations this is the container name i mean you can specify the container name also like a node.js post nest.js postgres or something like that okay there is an error let's see what is the error can't create container for service config the container name is already used by container okay maybe i need to do docker compose down because there may be existing container with this name so i will try to remove that first docker compose down or i will just remove it and then if the same name container is there then it's a problem right 
so i can just do docker compose up and that started right this is our nest.js application and this is our database currently this nest.js application is simple simple nest.js bootstrapped application now if i do localhost 3010 hello world right where it is coming from this nest.js application right so this is how we are using uh, docker docker compose since the uh, beginning i'm not using containers for the no uh, nest.js applications using running them just locally on the host machine by just differentiating the ports but when you when you want to do it this is the basic implementation it's not advanced docker file or advanced docker compose implementation you can also have a docker compose override file just put the container names in the yml and override will will override the definitions based on the environment and all lots of things you can do with the docker but having a docker knowledge is must that's the only objective of this video is to get you familiar with some of the terminologies for advanced knowledge you watch my playlist or just do some hands-on